Hello folks and welcome to App Screencast, Danny here. In today's video I'm going to be showing you Windows 8. It's a new operating system from Microsoft. It won't be out until next year but just released this week was a developer, developer's preview which anyone can actually download and try it out. Now I'm just going to quickly go over some of the new features in Windows 8 and I've got to say there's been quite a big change so you see it all in this video. So this is kind of the um, boot screen when as soon as you boot up you come in this is kind of the lock screen I guess you'd call it possibly. So I just type my password in. So when you log into Windows 8 you'll be greeted by the new Metro UI and it's kind of this new interface which is built into Windows 8. It's very Windows Phone 7 looking basically very similar to Windows Phone 7 so if you've seen the operating system on the actual mobile phones then this is what we're greeted with. Now I'm assuming well I'm pretty much sure why Windows 8 has got this UI it's pretty much because of the tabs, tablets what we see now we got the iPad out and Android tablets coming out and everyone's into tablets at the minute so I think Windows or Microsoft I should say are actually looking to get into the tablet market as it were so obviously they're making Windows 8 more tablet friendly now I'm just using a mouse but if I had obviously a tablet I would be able to obviously use multi-touch also if you've, if you've got a multi-touch trackpad you'd be able to also use that which would probably be better on the actual Metro UI if you want to go to desktop mode though you can by just clicking on the desktop tile and it will jump you straight to the actual Windows 8 desktop as we know it the kind of classic Windows but if I click on the Windows button it will jump you straight back into the Metro UI now at first I just thought this like Metro UI, UI was basically its own little application which were like sitting on top of Windows 8 but it does actually seem to be quite a bit built into the actual OS because when I went first went onto the desktop I assumed when I click on the start start button down here it would um, bring up the start menu but it doesn't it brings up the Metro UI which is obviously now the actual start menu so I found that really weird but in some ways good because it shows that Microsoft are really pushing this new Metro UI interface so it looks pretty much like this and if you want to go into your desktop you can click on the desktop tile and it will take you to the desktop but you can do a lot of things just through this actual interface so if I want to go on to Internet Explorer click on the Internet Explorer tab or tile I should say and it will open up and by the way this is out the basically the alpha build of the OS so it's going to be really buggy really slow but that's to be, to be expected so this is the explorer and I can just type in a website so I'm going to just type in YouTube good one to try have you noticed the search bar is actually at the bottom which is quite weird not used to seeing that and if I um, start scrolling and viewing the website you see it's fall full screen which is really good actually really cool and um, we've got a little sidebar here which is pretty cool as well but there's nothing else now if I want to obviously read, read the web page I can scroll up and down if I right click on my mouse it brings up some options so you've got the tool the actual address bar comes up we've got a back button we've got refresh We've got a pin button which I think basically allows me to bookmark it or pin to my start menu which is the Metro UI as it were. You can create a new page, press the Windows button it brings me back to the actual the new start menu as it were. So I can obviously view my web in the actual little tile but also I can click on the application and it will bring up this interface. You can see I've got a nice background which is really cool because it's obviously a sunny day. I'm obviously not in California, you probably can tell by my accent I'm not from America. But I've just left it in California because that's what it was set at originally. And I can just basically check the weather, 
it's a nice way to view the weather. You can see it's a 3D wallpaper in the background, which is really cool. I want to exit out of that, I just press the Windows button again. I can check stocks. Not something I actually check often. I don't really follow the stock market. Some people do, so obviously this, this little um, application will be useful. But I do like the actual interface of it because it's, be it's very um, similar to the Metro UI and that and similar to the weather app and stuff, so it's really great how they're keeping everything looking the same. So this is a stock application, what I can do is I can click on, for example, Microsoft Stocks. And I can view the Microsoft Stocks. And various other, various data and that, things I don't really understand if I'm honest. But that's basically the stock app, it's very simple, got some market news, etc. So really great little application, really simple, great for the touch interface I would say. Not too bad using a mouse as well. So we've got like an RSS feed reader, which I've set up, I can't remember what site I set it up to, to um, pull from, but basically it's a good way to get your news using RSS. So as you can see here, this is the RSS feeds. I think I've got it actually pulling from IGN blog, our website, and I can basically just view all the stories, really good way of doing it. If I like a story, a new story, I can click on it and it will bring up the story as you can see here. and also I can just scroll through them all read all the stories if I want to know more about the actual new, the new story I can click on the story and it will jump me off to the website where I can read the actual full article which is really good I won't do it in this video but you get the idea now going back to the classic Windows side of things um, there don't seem to be too many changes here, it's very Windows 7 looking, which is not a bad thing, Windows 7 is quite a good operating system. But um, what I didn't like, if you actually go into Explorer to view all your files and folders on your actual computer, they have done, they have made a quite a big update in Explorer. And I'm at this full screen, and as you can see here, they've actually added the ribbon, a ribbon along top. We have all your options and that, and this is something what you'll find in Microsoft Office. And I just find it makes it really, really confusing looking, really cluttered. It takes up a lot of space on screen. And how useful is it? I'm not quite sure. Like paste shortcuts, copy, cut, all these things can be accessed by using right click or um, using your shortcuts on your keyboard so I find all this just really odd really cluttered looking not really liking this but what is nice I believe you can click that and it actually hides it so even though a lot of people have like kind of dissed that and said the ribbon is stupid a really bad thing to have you have got the option to hide it so I guess some people are going to use it and find it useful some people like me which probably won't find it useful can just hide it so that's pretty cool but there's nothing else really I can see what they've done with the classic side of Windows, the, what they call the desktop windows part of the thing. I find that really funny. If I come over here and hover here, it brings me up some more hop options. Um, but again, it's not the windows we're used to. Pretty simple stuff. So it's almost as if they've like hid all the windows that we used to or even got rid of it and it's really, I just find it really really weird I really don't think they had to go to this lens I think they could have had this built on top of Windows but still had Windows 7 basically underneath it but they've kind of got rid of the start, start menu completely which I don't like um, we've got control panel here which you can click on and this does give you obviously more options and allows you to tweet things just like you're probably used to doing on your Windows computer. So this is control panel again. It's it's all the um, Metro UI interface and that. Um, great for touch. Everything's nice and big and that. Obviously for your fat fingers if you've got fat fingers. And um, for the mouse it works. You can scroll and stuff. Pretty pretty decent. If you're just a mouse user. Um, 
what you can do actually is you can set like notifications and that so if you've got like email or Twitter apps and that or whatever you get little notifications which is really cool you can customize them by turn them on and off um, not something I've gone gone and looked at too much so I'm not going to talk too much about that um, if we go to more settings it does bring up the control panel for the actual desktop mode um, which is great and this gives you, this is very much what we're used to seeing and we can uninstall applications we can do a lot of tweaking but what I find really weird is when I close this down how do I get to that window again we are going through the Metro UI interface and I'm and obviously I'm new to this to the operating system so I'm sure if I digged a bit more maybe I, I would find a way but only way I can find it minute is by going through through the actual Metro UI just to get to the original control panel which I find really weird and really silly how they've hidden it and made it hard now again this is just the alpha build so they might improve on that but for me for this for this to work this Windows 8 operating system to work well I think they've got to bring back the normal start menu or at least give you the options to be able to access it so then if, if anyone's coming from Windows 7 they'll feel at home straight away but also then put a second button in on the desktop with the Metro UI um, access so you can access the Metro UI really quick so you can switch between them both but if you want to stay in the Windows like 7 world and you don't want to leave it you can just stay in the desktop mode permanently and you've no reason to leave it if you like the UI the Metro UI interface then you could switch to that and use that and it'd be great if you could switch between them both but at the minute it's almost as if both both the touch screen and the classic windows have been put together mashed up and then you you've got something which is very I don't want to say confusing but just very odd as if it don't work as if it's been like it's not meant to go together as this is made by Microsoft it all should work together and coexist really and it's it, for me it doesn't do it it seems like almost two separate things have been stuck together 